Are you looking for action figures? Then head over to The Chosen Prime. The link is in the description. Just follow that. And man, they got everything your heart desires. Transformers, 5-2 toys, Power Rangers, Turtles, Marvel, DC, statues, whatever you want. Just go over and follow that link, man. You can order everything you want. Just order. Just go over there and order. Well, hey there, everybody. How y'all doing? I hope everybody's having a wonderful day or night. And welcome back to my channel. As always, I'm Deluxe. All right, let's do another What's New in Transformers. Yeah, heck yeah. Love talking about new Transformers. I don't have them in hand. Just like to chit-chat. So sit back and relax, and let's talk about some new stuff. All right, all right, all right. And up first, as always, add-on kits, add-on kits, add-on kits for days. And it looks like Collector's Craft, which is a fully licensed creator and merchant for Fun B Studios, has a new product inbound. So they're offering a Fun B uh, Studios is offering a take on the Quintesson Hovercraft from G1 Season 3, Episode 92. The face of Nijiaka, I think that's how you say it. It is scaled to work with the Warp Cybertron Quintesson, but also worked great with the Impossible Toys version, as well as the unique toy Sharkies, which is pictured. Uh, it, it features a swiveling front cannon as well as a 5mm pe peg hole on the bottom for use as a compatible flat stand. Uh, it's also printed in beautiful metallic filament uh, to really make it pop. And as an added bonus, I designed and am including a MP MP52 fly stand adapter so you can use it on your MP52 uh, fly stand. So if you have Starscream, you can use that. It's pretty cool. And you can make some uh, dynamic poses. Uh, he also modified the original Fun B design to add stability and durability. The price is $29.99 and it includes, it includes free domestic U.S. shipping. Uh, you can buy it on the Shop Now button on his Facebook page, which is Collector's Craft, if you want to go on Facebook and look him up. So pretty cool. It looks very nice, man. I love the metallic. It looks really good. I love that aqua green, too, as well. So there you go. This is Collector's Craft, and uh, they, I guess they uh, you know, sell Fun B Studio stuff. So there you go. Nice. Well, all right, folks, that's all we have for add-on kits. Let's move on to Legends. And it looks like we got some new pictures of Iron Factory Drift. This is their uh, Samurai Series IFEX 52T. Uh, looks like this his name is uh, Blade Nor Immune Suki. Uh, but um, I think he just went up for pre-order at Chosen Prime. I'm sure Toy Dojo, Big Bad Toy Store, all those other ones have him up for uh, pre-order. So yeah, looks pretty cool. I'm excited for this. Looks really nice. I love the alt mode and uh, the bot mode looks pretty good as well. So there you go. Iron Factory Drift is coming our way. Can't wait. Well, looky here. Jizza Toys. <laughs> Jizza is actually making their hound wow so uh, you know back in the day you know last year jizza put out a lot of stuff you know they were showing a lot of stuff but i think they were shopping around for people to make them and it looks like somebody's actually making this so you got hound it, it looks okay i mean you can tell it's 3d printed you can barely see the face uh, he is a triple changer he turns into a kind of a jeep thing a square jeep and a tape uh so yeah they, it looks like the optimus prime is being made too as well so that's pretty cool uh, but yeah, Jizza Toys is finally uh, moving forward and they're going to make some stuff and just, uh, you know, instead of just giving us some render uh, drawings and stuff. So there you go. Jizza Toys Cassette Hound is going to be made. All right. Well, all right, folks. Well, not a whole lot of Legends news, uh, but I'm going to throw this in with this. Uh, we got the new Lucky Cat, which uh, they did the Voltron, which is pretty good. They're kind of the cute thing. They're doing the 5-2 toys, uh, but they are going to make a Devastator and a Dino Megasword. Uh, like I said, they previously made the Voltron with individual lines that turned into cubes. And it looks like they're going to do this with uh, Devastator. Well, looks, I'm excited for that. And then you've got the uh, Mega uh, Zord, the Dino Mega Zord. So pretty cool stuff. Uh, like I said, Lucky Cat. I don't know who they are. It's a new company or something like that. But yeah, I'm excited what they can do with that Devastator. So there you go. We got some, uh, some uh, new stuff coming from Lucky Cat, Devastator, and Dino Mega Zord. All right, good stuff. Well, all right, folks, let's move on to third-party news. And it looks like Banana Force is coming with a new product. So they got a God-level armor with a new head sculpt, well, uh, which appears. Um, yeah, just a design right now, like a CAD drawing. Uh, I don't know which Optimus Prime this is. He got the wings. Uh, all they're, it looks like all they're doing is Optimus Prime from Banana Force. I, I hope they move on to the other stuff. But I haven't got any of their products. Does anybody get any Banana Force? Hit me up in the comments and tell me what you think of their stuff. So there you go, new upcoming product. This is God Level Armor for Optimus Prime, and yeah, Banana Force. Yeah, we got some new pics of the new Moon Studios. Uh, you know, the train bots. They're raiding. This is going to be a uh, cool peak, and this is going to be the right arm, and it looks really good. I have the first two, the leg modes or the leg bots, and they are 
freaking awesome. So I'm really excited for this. This is coming along really nicely. I mean, it's coming really fast too. Uh, it looks like this one's already come out. Uh, so hopefully we'll get the other one. Like I said, this is the right arm and uh, the bot mode looks really good. The train modes are awesome. So yeah, I'm really excited for Moon Studios. This is their cool peak and yeah, really, yeah, I can't wait, man. Golly, I'm excited for Raiden. Come on now. And speaking of Moon Studios, we got Zeta Toys, which I think people think that Moon Studios is Zeta. Uh, we got a Dark Side Superior, a Superior Tron box set. Now, when I first saw this, I thought this was Legend Scale because they just put out their Legend Scale uh, Superior. But this is the uh, box set of the MP Scale one. So if you want to have a Dark Side, which looks really good. I love the black and red, kind of the turquoise in there, a little mix of that as well. Looks pretty good. I like the Superion. The MP1 is, you know, when he's uh, combined, he's really very nice. Individually, eh, they're okay. But yeah, combined mode, that's where it's at. So it looks really good. I like it. I guess you could use it as your shared glass version too as well if you want to do that. So there you go. Zeta Toys Dark Side Superion box set. And he is on pre-order at uh, TF Source, Chosen Prime, all your other great uh, local retailers and everything. So there you go, Zeta Toys coming back. And then it looks like Vectron Labs is going through with their Devi State Tour. Uh, now I showed this pick a long a while back, a couple months ago. Uh, now they just showed uh, Scrapper. They just you know put him in color. All the other ones are you know still in black, uh, like a shadow. But yeah, and they got Devastator in the back. I think this is MP scaled. I think that's gonna you know gonna be you know uh, uh, like I guess go against Toy World or something. Uh, but yeah, Vectron Lab, I've never heard of them, but they are making a Devi State Tour and they showed uh, Scrapper a little bit. So yeah, they're moving forward with this. Pretty cool. Well, all right, folks, that's all we have for MP third party news. Uh, let's move on to some uh, custom work. I uh, came across some good stuff and it looks like uh, Starscream Studio made a custom Black Arachnia and Silver Bolt. So it looks like they took a Chromia and they made a Black Arachnia and I think that is the Beast Wars Prime, or I'm sorry, not, yeah, uh, Prime uh, Beast Hunters. I think that's Dreadwing, I think that's who it was. But yeah, very nicely done. This Black Ratney and Silver Boat look really freaking awesome. I like what they did, especially the paint looks really good. So there you go. This is Starscream Studios, and they made a custom Black Ratney and Silver Boat, and looks spectacular. Great job. And then I also came across this. This is via at Magi S. Partis on Twitter. I'll put that in the description. This is a custom slam dance, which they get a uh, rain dance from Six Gun and Grand Slam from Slammer. And once again, this looks freaking awesome. I like it. And they can combine, just so you know, it's awesome. Uh, so there you go. Yeah, this is, once again, Maki Z Partis on Twitter. And he did a slam dance with a rain dance from Six Gun and Grand Slam from Slammer. And a wonderful job. Looks really good. I like that. And this is via Simon Wong Art. Uh, SW underscore illustrations on IG, which I'm going to put that in the description as well. Definitely go check out his stuff. But he made a picture or I guess drew or something of Tidal Wave. And this is what I want Tidal Wave to look like. Now, I know Fans Hobby is making one, but man, wow. If Hasbro did this and made it like that, oh my gosh, I would love that. That would be an awesome commander class. I know it's a little stretch for Hasbro to make something like this, but I know a third party could. This looks really good. This is how I picture Tidal Wave. So there you go. This is uh, via Simon Wong Art. Like I said, at SW underscore illustration on IG. I'll put that in the description. Man, that's a great picture of Tidal Wave. Well, all right, folks, that's all we have for custom work. Let's move on to official Transformer news. All right, looks like some we got some Vintage Beast Wars Wolfgang reissue EAN number. So this would be another non-character Beast Wars character uh, toy to be reissued. Hot on the heels of our first images of Beast Wars Cyber Shark. We still have no images yet, but we can share you the EA EAN number for those inter interested in tracking this item. So this is uh, Beast Wars Maximal Wolfgang. The EAN number is 501 zero nine nine three nine three one nine five eight so there you go so we got another non-character beast wars coming this is wolfgang all right looks like transformers rise of the beast toy line wave one pre-orders at gamefly so i know the movie got pushed back to 2023 but this is not going to stop them from pushing out the toys so we're going to get spoiled a year before the movie comes out all right anyway so slated for release on april 1st 2022 uh, looks like we got some Battle Chargers, uh, Core Deluxe, Power Alliance, Weaponizers, uh, Power Combiners. We got Role Play Games, you know, our Role Play Basic Mass Assortments, uh, Smash Chargers. So there's a bunch of stuff coming out. Um, 
so yeah, there's uh, pre-orders up, and they're supposed to be released April 1st of 2022, a uh, year before the movie comes out. So yeah, I don't know how they're going to do that, but there you go, Gamefly. Go get your pre-orders. And speaking of Rise of the Beast, it looks like we got some new images of the Autobot cars in Cusco. So we have extra shots of the interior of Optimus Prime's stunt version, which was used to film the action scenes in Cusco. Additionally, we also have a look at Will Jack's interior, which seems to be a different van from the one we saw previously. Now featuring an Autobot insignia on the steering wheel and decorated seats. Uh, we are now a long wait to, uh, till June 9, 2023, the premiere of the Transformers Rise of the Beast. Uh, so pretty cool. We got some new scenes or new, uh, you know, shots of Optimus Prime and Will Jack. Um, I'm excited for this. I can't wait for Rise of the Beast. I kind of wish it was coming out this year, but uh, yeah, I'm going to have to wait till next year. So there you go. New images of uh, Autobot cars. Yay. And we got some new in-hit images of Studio Series SS77 Deluxe Transformers Nest Bumblebee. So the figure is metallic gray redeco of the Studio Series SS57 Off-Road Bumblebee, also featuring a Nest logos. Uh, he also comes with a running sandwich wiki, which doesn't look anything like him, uh, originally included in the Revenge of the Fallen Bumblebee. Uh, we have a closer look at the figure in alt and robot mode, and you can spot the new shiny deco with the logos added to his release. Uh, the figure is re uh, supposed to be scheduled to be released in April of 2022, and you can still pre-order it from uh, Big Bad Toy Store, Entertainment Earth, Chosen Prime, Ages 3 and Up, all that wonderful stuff. So there you go, in hand images of the new Nest Bumblebee from Studio Series. All right, up next we got Transformers Generation Book 2022 Amazon listing and release date. So it looks like we got a new Amazon Japan listing indicates that it will be released in a MOOC format, uh, similar to a magazine but sold in bookstores for long periods by publisher Hero X. Uh, the listing indicates a pre-order price of 30, uh, 3,300 yen, which is about $28.65. Uh, which is the release date of June 1st of 2022. So while we still have no cover image, the feature image on the new post is just used as a reference or complete details about the content. There's a small descri description in the listing, uh, which in Google Translate, it says a major feature of the Headmasters, which celebrates the 35th anniversary, the latest issues of the series, and then now of the series from the latest toy information the video works. So th could this be a book focused on G1 Japan Headmasters, cartoon and toys? I think that'd be pretty cool. So there you go, a new listing on Amazon, Jap uh, Amazon Japan for Transformer Generation book of 2022. Awesome, sozzle. That's a whole lot of stuff. And then we got some new stuff from Nindroid Nemesis Prime official images. These are cute chibi style reditions of the classic Transformer characters. Uh, Nemesis Prime is a black redeco of the G1 Optimus Prime, now with the evil Decepticon insignia. According to the information shared on Good Smile Company English website, Nindroid Nemesis Prime will have a pre-order from uh, the 8th of February till the March 17th for $54.99, which will be released in July 22. All right, looks pretty cool. I like the axe, man. I love that blood red. Looks really nice. So there you go. Nindroid Nemesis Prime official images. And it looks like we got our first look at the new Nindroid G1 Starscream, which is on display at Wonderfest in Japan. This new edition of G1 Nindroid line of cute chibi style redition to the classic Transformer characters. Starscream was on display next to the previously previously seen Optimus Prime and Megatron and also released uh, or recently revealed was the Nemesis Prime, which I was just talking about. So yeah, there you go. I gotta get this one. It's Starscream. And yeah, he's got a big old head. So there you go. Nindroid G1 Starscream revealed. And going off the game fly, we got looks like first Amazon listing for Rise of the Beast toy highlights and updated release date. So there's a new listing on Amazon. It looks like the release date of April 15th, 2022 as a street date for Transformers Rise of the Beast Beast Battle Master Rhinox. The date is two weeks after the original date of April 1st. Uh, they got the packaging size along with the weight. It looks like 1.41 ounces. Uh, Beast Battle Master Rhinox carries the Amazon ID of something, blah, blah, this. And it's uh, $6.29 for the price tag. Uh, the information gives a positive outlook towards the known April 2022, 2022 release of the gimmick line and also gives us a good understanding of the size of the toy. However, the toy description is a generic blurb. Uh, you can read all about it and all that stuff. So yeah, it looks like we got our first listing for Amazon and April 15th is going to be the street date for uh, Rise of the Beast. All right. 
And then we got some new Transformer products by Jada Toys in 2022. So it looks like we got a multi-pack of, uh, looks like a pack of 18 die-cast G1 figurines, each about four centimeters tall, which is really small. Uh, they include Optimus Prime, Bumblebee, Cliffjumper, Sunstreaker, Prowl, Jazz, RC, Sideswipe, Ironhide, Wheeljack, Hot Rod, Ultra Magnus, Megatron, Soundwave, Shockwave, Starscream, Thundercracker, and Skywarp. Then they got a three pack with a G1 Jetfire, Hot Rod, and Sideswipe die cast vehicles, only four centimeters long as well. So there you go. We got some new stuff from Jada Toys in 2022. Nice. And we got some new images from Flames Toys Kurakari Kuri Rodimus Color Sample New Images. The figure is part of the Flames Toys Top Quality Kurakari Kuri Action Figure line, which is a bigger and more expensive collection. We have great shots of the impressive rendition of Rodimus. Heavily based on the IDW Rodimus Prime from Alex Mine, uh, Milne. I'm sorry. Uh, looks like uh, we have a look at the figure and the accessories, a fire blade, a rifle, a knife, and even an ener energy bow. So that's pretty cool. We also have a look at the extra armor parts for Rodimus, which will be Prime Mode, which was revealed some time ago. So it looks very nice. My God, the paint on this thing looks spectacular. It looks pretty cool. So if you like a, you know, like an IDW Rodimus Prime, hey, this might be your cup of tea. So there you go. Flames Toys Kurakari Kuri Rodimus Color Sample New Images. Man, that's a beast. And then we got a new premium finish uh, revealed. Looks like a PFSS05 Optimus Prime was revealed. So this is an improved movie accurate redeco of the studio series SS05 Voyager Revenge of the Fallen Optimus Prime. Uh, the figure includes the two blades of the original release plus two ion blasters, which came originally with the SS32 and SS44 Optimus Prime. Uh, we have a look at the robot and truck mode and some pics next to other studio series figures. Uh, Pre-orders for the Japan market will be on February 10th and is scheduled to release in late uh, July of 2022. So there you go. Another premium finish, Optimus it looks Prime. Looks like Deluxe of the Last Night Optimus Prime official announcement. So the new entry in the 3-0 high quality non-transforming action figures. Uh, we still now have a lot of information, but this figure will be about 11 and a half inches tall with 72 points of articulation and it will be released in 2022. My God, get in my collection. This looks so good. I'm waiting for Revenge of the Falling. I wish that one would uh, come into uh, Chosen Prime. I wish he'd hurt and get that. But man, this looks so good as well. I can't wait to get it. So there you go. Official 3-0 Deluxe, The Last Night, Optimus Prime. Wow. My God, these things are so good. Well, all right, folks, that's all we have for news this week. Not a whole lot, especially not with the Legends and add-on kits, but, man, it's still exciting to a great time to be a Transformer uh, collector. And, you know, everything's kind of slowed down right now with the Chinese New Year, but I'm sure after that it's going to start ramping up and we'll get some more, more you know, stuff, you know, great stuff, and I'm, I'm excited. So there you go. Hit me up some likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. Go down and hit that sub button for me if you don't mind. Hit me up with some comments. Tell me what you thought and what you're excited for. And I guess I'll see you in the next What's New in Transformers. And as always, be good to yourself. Man, hell freaking Transformers. And good night, folks.